Hours after the president reportedly wrote to the Speaker of Parliament requesting her to convene the Appointments Committee to approve Benjamin Odoki as Chief Justice after retirement, her office has received yet another petition asking her not to heed to the request since the matter is subject to a judicial process. Should the, the Appointments Committee make a mistake, a regrettable mistake, and uh, <clears throat> proceed to approve Justice Odoki, they will have committed a treasonable act. President Seven is testing the waters for the removal of the age limit for the president in the constitution. Now he still wants to, 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 to rule Uganda, even until when he will be walking with the walking stick, assisted with, by someone pulling a muse like this, he still wants to be a president. I want to appeal also to the speaker, as the youth of this country, we are not ready to see this constitution go down. They say unless a constitutional petition filed by Western Region Youth MP Gerard Karuhanga is disposed of, Parliament would be acting outside the law if it went ahead to veto Doki. The legislators also say the executive should take caution not to touch leaders opposed to their personal vendettas as they insist many have met death under dubious circumstances. Some people remember with due respect the point of view the late Francis Ayume held about the removal of presidential term limits. Unfortunately, accident took him away. You know accident. Odoki, who chaired the committee on whose recommendation the 1995 constitution was derived, now finds himself in an awkward situation as he could end up disrespecting the clause that his committee inserted, putting the retirement age for the chief justice at 70. Many have argued that his legacy is on the line as allegations emerged that the president is using him to test the waters ahead of a plan to extend the age limit to contest for the presidency. Sabit Joseph, the Vesele Vision, Parliament.